Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoStore.com. I'd like to share with you another update. This is the rare 1924 LaFrance fire truck. In earlier video, uh, we showed you the engine or the mock-up that someone was trying to do with a 4.3 V6 engine. Um, so lots of progress. Before we get into this, we'll just show you that the engine is now out of it. Hopefully it'll make you too dizzy with the, uh, with the camera. So um, somebody had suggested that perhaps this engine was, um, was rebuilt, and it's definitely not rebuilt. This is just the wiring and harness that came with it. Um, it. It looks like it's pretty tired. It doesn't really fit the whole idea, I don't think. And on the back here, it looks like we've got some auto wrecker uh, writing on the back where we've got, it says no oil, painted with green, and then it's got uh, a part number on it. So looks like something came out of a, out of a wreck safari. So we didn't really like that idea to begin with. So um, it's important though that, um, so what we did is we have chosen um, an engine that's gonna work quite well. So uh, it doesn't look very pretty right now. This is just the mock-up stage. So this is a General Motors engine. This is um, one of the bulletproof um, straight six cylinders. They made, um, they called it a, a 250 or a 292. Uh, so there's two different versions of this engine. Um, so they ran them for, there'll be a lot of experts out there, but this came out of a 1970 GMC truck. Um, the serial number, the date code and everything we got off it. So this is the little bit smaller engine. It's the 250 cubic inch straight six. Um, this engine doesn't look very pretty, but it's a very fresh motor. We had it in a vehicle that we drove for two years, two summers. We drove it. Um, it was originally mated to a, a three on the tree. Uh, we're going to convert it because we want to try and save, um, we don't want to waste any money. So um, in an earlier video, if you recall on this 24 of France, when they did the mock-up trying to use the 4.3 motor, um, they had this turbo 350 automatic transmission. So it looks like it's rebuilt and quite fresh. It has a brand new torque converter. Um, with some numbers on it. So um, we're obviously going to have to do quite a few changes to the drive line and mounts itself, but this is going to better suit the vehicle. So these are a very, very reliable engine. It looks more along the time period of what it should. Um, we're going to replace um, gaskets and seals. We're going to sand it, recondition it all, and repaint it. So this will all be refurbished. But for the mock-up stage, what we want to do is utilize, first of all, the main thing is to get back at that point. Um, we'll modify the drive shaft. It will accept this turbo 350 automatic transmission. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll make new mounts for it. It bolts, and it's bolted on. I think the camera person can show you. It bolts directly to that engine. So that was one of the criteria, because we don't want to waste the association's money um, by trying to use a whole different transmission and spending a lot of unnecessary money that we don't have to. So this is a good, reliable engine. We're gonna freshen this up. We did a compression test on it, it's very strong. Um, what we'll do is we'll plastic gauge the, um, uh, the crankshaft and bearings to make sure there's no concerns with it. But it's a nice, it's a very, very uh, good running, very reliable engine. We'll rebuild the car. We'll put a period correct air cleaner on it. When this is all painted, um, this will better suit the truck. You can see here in terms of the mock-up, the front grill, the front radiator, it's been recorded. The radiator is now going to fit. It didn't fit or line up at all with the 4.3. You'll notice we've taken the fan off the front of the pulley. So you have your water pump and pulley. Uh, we removed the fan because on the 70 GMC truck it was in, it had a spacer plate between the pulley and the blade. Um, so we've got two choices. One, we can do with a lower, uh, a shorter spacer and have the original fan blade, which will be more than adequate to move the air to keep this fire engine uh, or fire truck cool. The other option is we can do a slimline uh, electric fan. So there's lots of options there. But with this engine and the mock-up right now, this is the height it's going to be. Um, we just have some, uh, some channel uh, metal just to kind of show visually where it's going to go. So it's center into the chassis. You can see the the main problem that they had with the other the 4.3 um, attempt 
this is the original steering box and we want to maintain the original steering uh, components and we have lots of clearance now so if you recall in the other uh, video the 4.3 there's no manifold on it and the reason why they didn't have it on is it was right up against there was no clearance for the steering box so now we have we're going to end up removing what they've welded on here as a homemade mount we're going to make our own mounts we'll do it properly so it's cushioned between the engine and the frame like it's supposed to and there's lots of room here uh, for the exhaust so we'll make our own exhaust system we have a Ben Pearson bender mandrel bend so we'll make our own exhaust to come down from here. Uh, it'll drop down and go out. It's not going to be anywhere uh, in the way of the steering box. So we don't have to re-engineer a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so this will work quite well. So this is um, a 250 cubic inch or a 4.1 liter engine. They're very torquey and mated to that uh, three speed turbo automatic. It'll function very, very well. Um, so now that the guys have got that set in, the next thing they'll do um, is you're going to make engine mounts for it so it's in a proper location. And you'll notice here uh, in the firewall, what we've done is we've trimmed out or cut away a section of this front firewall. And what we'll end up doing, because we want to make sure that it's all going to be serviceable, if later on down the road, if they need to do any work to the, uh, to the manifolds or the valve cover or to remove the valve cover gasket, in terms of maintenance, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make, and you'll, it will be undetected, we're gonna make pockets on either side uh, that will come in on an angle, and then a plate that's gonna come down here, and when we weld that up, we'll fabricate it from scratch. When we, we create this, and we'll paint it black to match, there'll be no evidence of anything being changed, because that'll be all closed off the way it should be, so it'll look like a normal engine bay, and then from this side, you'll notice where they have that upper section We'll have a plate going across there, and then we'll do the original. They, some guys will do checker plate, or we could do wood. So that'll all be enclosed. You can see the transmission is still well below the floor. Um, the, uh, the homemade transmission mount, the cross member that they made, is not going to be used. It's just to support the transmission for now. We'll make our own transmission uh, cross member. That one's not square, it's all crooked, uh, and the welds aren't very strong. So we'll, we'll make the correct one. We'll mount the transmission the way it's supposed to be mounted with a rubber bushing. You'll see the drive shaft is a little bit longer, um, but that's not an issue. We'll remove that, we'll cut it back, and we'll, um, we'll, we'll set it up the way it should be. So we have no issues with drive line, no issues with transmission or motor, um, and we'll come up with a really nice idea for the automatic transmission for the shifting. Uh, so basic update, this is the 1924 La France fire truck. I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceRestore.com.